Hey guys, what is going on? This is Jack Attack 45, and today we have episode number 15 of Jack's Journey. Continuing on building our silver squad. Love the support from yesterday. Also, loved everyone's comments about me saying sorry for the long episode. So you know what I did? I'm saying sorry for saying sorry by bringing you another long episode. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think that deserves a like just for that. So this one is over 10 minutes once again. I normally don't do videos over 10 minutes, but since I have my new laptop, this video renders out so fast, and hopefully it uploads quick so you guys can get to see it right on time. And the schedule uploader hasn't been working for me, so I've been uh, having some problems with that. But hopefully this one get up tomorrow and you guys can enjoy it. As you can see there, we pick up Drentha. We actually pick up one for, I think, 16,000-something coins, and then I end up finding one for 14,000. So I instantly buy that one and make sure to uh, swap that one out. Actually end up selling the first one on for just as much as I paid for him, so not too bad a deal there. And the second one I can probably sell him on for two to 3,000 coin profit when I'm moving on to the gold squad. So that is always good. We come up against a player. I didn't see his name there. Started with a P, I don't remember. But uh, George... Make no mistake about it. He's left-footed, but uh, look at that. Look at that finish. That's his right foot. He's getting pulled off the ball. I, I don't know. That was more of a keeper fail. But we come up against a player with a silver uh, French League squad, and his keeper let him down, that's for sure. This is my man Goosens with his 87 power, 70 free, 75 free kick accuracy. And look at this. He's just going to say, yeah, you're putting something in the line. I don't care. Oh, the keeper doesn't even go for it. What a free kick. Goosens is pumped. I know you guys are all pumped because I love using Goosens. Love this guy. If he had a little bit more pace, I would love it because I can't really seem to get his long shot off very much. But when I do, oh my gosh, it always goes in. I've had him on a few other teams too. And look at that free kick. Just bending around the wall. And uh, no problem because he's left-footed. So perfect setup for him. And then Crucian, my bronze player, still... Playing very well. I mean, look at that. Nice little uh, body feint there to the step back. And a crushing finish to the near post. Love that finish by my bronze player. And then El Kabir actually getting completely blocked there. And George is going to pick that up with his left foot and say, Okay, thank you, sir. I will take that. Nice little poaching play from him. So, you know, can't complain about that. And this guy, I'm pretty sure, was not very happy about that. Booted that ball. We were up 4-0 in the 24th minute, and he was not too happy. So he was out of there. Ended up picking up 680 coins. And you know what? We're going to watch that Goosen's free kick one more time. I love the expression on the keeper's face. He's like, oh, crap. Where did that come from? <laughs> so this is the Costa Rican squad that I was telling you guys about a couple episodes ago. And uh, I was pretty interested to play this squad because I've never actually seen a Costa Rican squad. I know there's a few good players. Obviously, there's some players out of position. He's playing a left back at uh, left mid. He's also playing CDMs and CAMs in the midfield. And uh, Crucian, once again, still filling in for the squad. And uh, whenever anybody in the midfield has any fitness problems, I always just stick him in there. And he always makes good plays, that's for sure. Great little nose for the ball and a uh, good little header there from him. And then El Kabir laying it off to who else but Crucian. Nice little finish. Nice little worm burner there. I don't know. I don't know where that came from, but worm burner for the win. That's all I'm that's all I'm saying. Nice little finish from him. And of course he's still playing well, you know. We're playing uh, we're playing a little bit better opponents now. Well, other than this guy. And uh, he's still playing well on the as a bronze player, I mean obviously a beast. And then Rosales sidestepping the defense. That's our right back coming up. And scoring in the 32nd minute. 32nd, not 32nd. Ay, ay, I'm, I'm just going crazy right now. Crazy. And then, of course, we get another corner goal from Mr. El Kabir. And I'm telling you, I don't want to play anyone else in striker other than El Kabir because he is so good. Four-star skills, good heading, good shot power. I mean, he's just all around, all around beast. Try him out if you haven't yet. I also have a really, really sick squad that I made with him and El has now he? El Yanossi. <laughs> El has now he is Steve. I just get confused. I'm going to link that. The foothead link is down below. It's a pretty awesome squad. Go vote if you like it. I want to see that get up to the top because I love that squad. And it's called the Monsters up front. And they are monsters. Trust me. 
One of the things that I want to talk about in this commentary, though, as you see we get a penalty here, is which silver informs you'd like to see me get for the squad. There is a few very expensive ones. The first one is Inform Fur, as we have T and Dolly playing the violin there. Nice little high-speed violin. But uh, one of the most expensive ones is Inform Donk, obviously. He's close to 100,000 coins. I can definitely pick him up if you guys would like. I just kind of want to have you guys choose which one you think would be the best. I don't actually know which one is the best. I've never actually played with any of these silver Dutch Informs, but there's also... Inform Fur, he's a center midfielder. If you don't know any of these players, make sure to go look them up on Foothead. I might even include some links down below. Maybe we get a poll going or something. You know, have a little, have a little nice little input from you guys. Nice little scoop chip there from El Kabir to Drentha, who's going to score his first goal for the club. He is a very, very quick little player, that's for sure. And uh, I'll put a poll up, see if you guys wouldn't mind. Uh, we got Inform Fur, we got Inform Dunk, we also have. Inform Hoffs, who is a center midfielder who looks like he has pretty beastly long shots. He has 80 shooting on his card. He's only about 20k, so I could definitely pick him up. We also have Inform Godetti, which is the silver striker. There is multiple of him. Uh, there's a 73 Inform, a 74 Inform, so I'm guessing he's very, very good. I think he has like over 80 strength, so there's a bunch of good choices. If you guys would like to see me get all of them, that obviously is going to take a little bit more trading. I'm going to have to do some more trading, but you know what? I wouldn't mind because I want to try to build the best squads possible for each level. And of course, you know, there is some blue players when we get up to the gold level. But let me know. <laughs> Sorry, I was just going to say let me know in the comments down below. But uh, Zoot there, very funny moment from him. He just, he, I don't know what he was doing. He was just standing there waiting to take the penalty and then he just caught it. He's like, thank you very much. That's that's really easy. Thank you. So <laughs> I will make sure to leave a poll up on my Facebook. Make sure to go check that in the description down below. Donk with the diving header there in the 88th minute. I love that goal from him. Could get the inform, you know, never know. Um, so if you have any other suggestions as well, there are, I think, a couple more informs that I'm forgetting to mention. But, you know, I like black. I like blue. I like all the colors. So we might as well get all the colors from the rainbow. And uh, see which informs we can pick up. But we ended up winning that game 12-0. Oh my gosh. And that guy was actually playing the whole time. I, I don't know what he was doing. Obviously not very good on defense. I felt bad for the Costa Rican squad because they tried so hard, but they failed so miserably. So, so miserably. After that game, we went out and picked up Overtoom. He's a fairly, fairly beastly player. 85 pace. Got a pretty decent shot on him. I thought he originally had four-star skills. I don't know why I was thinking that, but he only has three-star skills. I was trying to do Ronaldo chops with him. They were not working, so don't try that. He's only three-star skills. We also go out and pick up Marcelo. I think I ended up picking him up for 700 coins, so a good pick up there. Could definitely go on and sell him for a little bit more. 70 pace, 78 defending is going to be a solid center back for me. We also pick up a replacement left wing, Vicento. I also have Cabral and I also have Drentha, so I don't know if he's going to make it on the squad. I definitely wanted to try him out, though, because he does have those four-star skills. And then we come up against J.J. Rednick. Yeah. Kentucky FC, KFC, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Kentucky FC. I was I was hoping he was gonna have a USA squad so I could do more of my redneck voice, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just avoid that for as much as possible because it's a little it's a little hidden uh, hidden commentary in the middle of this. If if all my dedicated fans are still listening, they're definitely gonna make a com comment about uh, the redneck the redneck accent. Give me a little KFC. I don't know. Obviously, he was trying to do that, but <laughs> he was. He was uh, not too happy after this 45th minute stoppage time little spree here. The game was tied up nil-nil before stoppage time, and I just showed you guys the beginning of stoppage time. I'm going to speed up a little bit here. But as you guys will see, stoppage time in the first half was not very nice to him. He ends up winning a free kick here, and I love these counterattacks. This is why I have El Kabir up front. This is why I have a little bit more pacey uh, players up front. Zoet's here, punting that ball all the way across the field. Great, great play from him. Look at that, right on the Elkabir's feet. And uh, watch this finish. Bang, up in that top corner. Love it. Love that finish. That's against Helton, the gold uh, Brazilian keeper. So, you know, I'm not going to complain about that one. Elkabir showing he's definitely worth the 15K. He might be a little bit overpriced, but he's still worth those 15,000 coins. 
And this guy was not very happy, and you know what? I wouldn't recommend if I've already scored two goals in the 45th minute to give me the ball once again. Over to him to Drentha, and of course, I crossed it. What? What? Everyone stop. Everyone stop. Jack actually crossed it. What? <laughs> that does not happen very often. I'm working on it more. I'm trying to get more sweaty for you guys so when we reach that silver tournament, we can win it. So, I'm working on it. And then he passes out of bounds with Risa. He's a little bit off his game. I would be really, really mad if all three of the goals scored against me were in the 45th minute as well. And there's only three minutes of stoppage time on that one. So, I don't know what the referee was thinking, but hey, I'm going to take it. And then El Kabir going through here in the 88th minute. Nothing else happened until basically stoppage time once again. El Kabir tries to chip the keeper, comes right back to him. He's got that power header, and he's going to finish that one. So that is how that game would end, 4-0. I don't know what happened with that game. I'm, I felt kind of bad for that guy because I scored in the 40, 45th three times and the 88th. El Kabir would have been sexy little finesse shot there if he would have made that. But, guys, I hope you did enjoy. Hope you all stuck around for the redneck, random redneck. I don't know, I don't know what I was doing there. Redneck voice. Uh, we'll see. 4-0 win over Kentucky FC. Guys, make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. This has been Jack Attack 45 signing out. Peace.